Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today, let's take a look at moving the pop-up from one side of the sidewalk and getting it out to the curb where it belongs. Ed, our franchise owner in Raleigh, North Carolina, is going to work in some of the hardest clay there is. You know, red clay, it extends all through North Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, Virginia. This is some of the hardest clay in the country. And he's going to show you how to get under the sidewalk and also how to core the curb. Let's take a look. All right, welcome back. Dr. Drains with Apple Drains of North Carolina. We're in beautiful Raleigh, North Carolina in a new subdivision. And what we're going to do, uh, we've already got 811. They've already come out and marked everything. And the only thing we have to worry about here is a gas line, which is usually very deep. But we'll still be very cautious when we dig. What the customer wants to do, he wants to take his pop-up that was here. He wants to go under the sidewalk, continue his drainage, and come through right here. Now this customer got three different quotes. Uh, he chose us, we weren't the highest, we weren't the lowest. But the other two companies wanted to cut the curb. And you can't cut the curb in most places. You have to have a permit. So what this customer did, we went ahead and pulled a permit on it. I actually met the inspector out here. He was very particular about where he wanted it and where he didn't want it. So we're gonna go ahead and get the core in here. Uh, go ahead and run our pipe underneath the sidewalk. We're gonna try a couple cool new little tricks and see what works the best and we'll let you know. Thank you. All right, as you can see, this is some good old sod. This is what separates us from the other people. Other people who come in, just dug a big old massive trench, fill the back in, and it'll look terrible. We're gonna take this sod, set it to the side, so when we put it back, we've never been here. And these white lines, uh, they wash away in about a rain or two. Thank you. It really makes me smile when I see these guys doing such great work. And, you know, we've done this so many times. And I like the auger idea. We've done this many times also. We use the Bosch instead of the small battery, but it works just as well. And you can see Jeremy, he's able to get that auger and get underneath that sidewalk. A great way to tunnel the sidewalk. Hi, welcome back. It's Dr. Drains with Apple Drains of North Bygot, Carolina. This is for the newer contractors, uh, the younger folks who are getting into it. Uh, I've been busting my knuckles since the mid-80s doing all sorts of stuff but I want you to notice when you've got a you've got a DeWalt cordless hammer drill excellent tool it's wonderful for many many things but I want you to zoom in on this if you would Miss Sarah look at the size difference between this one and these two these are standards this is a max all right you can back up so the max is for more powerful drills for bigger fits like we're getting ready to core a curb behind Sarah there so we got this big giant tool now again and you'll see this you'll see this looks like something from Star Wars right little Wookiee whoa hey that works <laughs> keep that in there that's awesome so this is a hammer drill it'll drill and it'll also hammer and it'll drill and hammer at the same time really really nice to walk makes a really good product unfortunately uh, you need the big bad $600 $700, whatever it was, Bosch drill to do serious drilling. Um, this thing is, it's got vibration control on it. It pulls 13 amps. Don't buy the 12 amp one. Spend the extra 75 bucks. The difference is if you spend the extra money, you can run all of these bits. If you use the big boy here, that's 13 amps. If you buy the 12 amp one, you can run about three quarter of the bit. So spend the extra 50 bucks. That way you're never wishing you did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand this to Robert, and Robert's going to show you how this works real quick. Got a little spade attachment there. All right, that's good. That's good. All right, so what I did that for, sometimes here in North Carolina, we've got a video coming out soon, when you run into white clay or you're running really hard pack clay. You really need this bit on there. That will 
roll right through it. We're going underneath the sidewalk. I just got to stop the play with a little bit. But I want you to see the difference in the tools. And if you haven't seen the video already, including on this job, we teach you the easiest way to go under a sidewalk. It's easy, breezy, lemon squeezy. It's that easy. Thanks for stopping by. Here on the other side, you can see they prepped the area. You can see the downspout drain that they're hooking onto. And he's just trying to start get that underneath that walk. This is the hardest part to get started. Once you get that auger in and under that walk, it'll pull itself through. Coring the curb is by far the best place for any drain to discharge. And using the Bosch hammer drill, this is an easy way to do it. When I say easy, well, it still takes about 20 minutes. And it is a little bit of effort, but that, that machine does all the work. And if you get a good diamond tip core bit, you'll get right through here. A couple of quick tips. It's best if you keep your drill level. Try to keep that drill as level as possible and you'll get through here in a matter of minutes and just keep pressure on your drill remember it's a hammer drill and it pounds and drills at the same time so as it pounds it's actually digging through that concrete average curb is just like this usually six inches wide and you need to have a good a good machine to get through there Bosch hammer drill takes care of that every time are you ready for the money shot here it comes money shot So one thing I wanted to point out uh, on here, you can see we core drilled it. It was a brand new bit. You see it chipped up here. We made the decision because of the slope here. The curb wasn't really high in the back. So we came in at a slight angle and we're gonna come in and meet. The water will still go out. But if we'd have come up, we'd have tore the whole top of this curb to pieces. And that's not what we want to do. We don't keep the integrity and the beauty of this neighborhood in place. So just be mindful. If you drill across, you're probably going to tear this whole thing to pieces unless you get low enough or come at a slight angle. So the water is still going to drain out of here with no problem. We've got plenty of pitch. Um, but we want to make sure we don't tear the curb up in the process. All right, so what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to connect these two pieces. And anytime you have two pieces of pipe that are off just a little bit, you go there and get a no hub. I think they're called Fern Coes. Uh, anyhow, it's a big hunk of, uh, of uh, rubber with a couple of stainless steel gaskets. You line it up, get it on there, just like that. We're going to take our drill, we're going to drill these. A snug and then it's perfectly snug and we've already checked the fall on this and we've got our fall five sixteenths i know yeah by the way if you don't have this quarter inch on one side five sixteenths on another you got to have it get one of them it takes a lot of time snug it up all right she's on there good so we got her fitting going through the curb sarah will come around and of course we'll clean all this up it's got it snug into the curb nothing's going to be leaking out it's going to roll right out and head on down there all right we'll cover it up and take a final final video of the finished product all right we're finishing up this job and just a reminder we ran a section of pvc three inch pvc i like to use pressure treated it's a little sturdier and it doesn't matter which one you use I like to use the pressure treated because when you're putting it in the ground and you're moving it around, it's, it's a lot stronger. So you don't have to worry about it cracking because that drain is really thin. So started here, we got a nice core bit and we got the side back down. Now this soil is extraordinarily rocky and that's why you see some clumps on top here. We raked it up really nice, but it's really rocky. So after the first rain, this will all disappear. But what we found was just a bunch of rock and filter. We cord, we got solid pipe all the way under. And right here, it's one of those things that you don't know until you dig it up. We actually were gonna stop here. Robert actually went back. We found a piece here that was damaged, it was cut. And so what that was doing was, it was letting roots and everything grow in there, dirt was falling in there. So we actually cut it back a foot and made one solid connection, hooked up right there. 
So now this customer, when it rains, uh, his existing system, it'll flow down here and it'll flow right out the front, right out here in this curve, in our beautifully uh, cut curve. Thank you, Robert. That's Robert, by the way. Okay. And it'll just rush on down like the city had planned it. All right, this job is finished. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, likes, okay, over there. Likes are over there. Subscribe, tell Chuck what a good job, or tell him what a bad job we're doing. That's okay. We don't mind that too. We love the haters. All right, you guys be good. You know, all of our franchise owners do such great work, and I am very proud to show their videos. They're, it's extraordinary what people are doing and how we're doing this to get these jobs installed. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.